Hi, my name's Cathy Miller, and this week we're painting it. Yes, we're finally getting around to painting these trees. Then Lasky's still out there somewhere. So we're in the halo jungle again, and you can see that their trees aren't particularly brown. Now, I painted mine, I got halfway through, and you can see in this video, and I thought, hmm, yeah. Trees aren't particularly brown when I keep looking at it. So this is an interesting one. When you're painting trees and vegetation and all this sort of stuff, quite often we still default to the childhood concept that trees are brown, leaves are green, and nothing in between. And I'm gonna have to go back having looked at this halfway through my video and change the colors that I did just to try and get them to be a little less brown. So what do we need to do first? Well, we need to mask the pot. It's a lovely pot. This actually isn't that heavy yet. And it's quite robust, so I'm quite pleased about that. But um, I don't want this to get covered in paint. So I've got some masking tape and those free bags that you get through the um, leather box. Well, in the UK, you get hundreds. I'm just using normal frog tape. Um, it's masking tape. I like the blue or the green. I rarely use the white. And I'm just going to put it around and try and make sure I keep that beautiful circular shape. Right. Now, I'm going to take this outside. Well, actually, I'm not. It's pouring with rain. I'm going to take this into my garage and spray it and we'll see what it looks like when it comes back. Just make sure these are well rubbed down. Now, I started this in January and it's now early May. Looking glorious outside. This has been sat here for ages with this really manky brown color. So I'm looking forward to getting rid of it and making it into a nicer brown. So first up, what color do I need it to be? Well, I've been looking at all my halo pictures. I mean, I replayed the level and took loads of screenshots. And it's a very cool brown, and this is really yucky, yellow. So I don't have many really cool browns, but I'm gonna start dark and lighten up. First up is a dark wash to settle into all those gaps and bring in an element of shadow. Right, so my wash is gonna be made from craft acrylics because they're nice and cheap. I'm gonna use my two favorite colors, which if you've seen videos, been before you'll probably know what they are. So I'm just going to put a splurge of this on into a plastic, that's quite a big splurge. I do want it to be quite dark. So that's all I'm going to use this time is this Payne's grey colour. Um, I've got some natural for later. And then I'm just going to mix some water in to make it nice and dilute, a little bit at a time. That's way thicker than I want it to be. So I'm going to thin it down. So I've got almost a cup of water in there. Mostly because, that's why I can't knock it over, as I'm really known to do. Mostly because I want it to be nice and sort of thin and running into the gaps. I don't want it to sit on the highlights, just on the low sections. And for that you need it thin and not lumpy. And then the other thing I'm gonna do, which um, one of the um, people, Golly Po, wrote on YouTube and told me to do is to add a couple of drops of polysorbate 20, which is a plant steric acid. And it helps with the, um, sort of making it wet, if that makes sense. One, two, that's quite big drips. And I'm just gonna do the Hainesin and right on there. It's quite thick still. We'll see. And I'm just gonna, starting on this side, just gonna run it into the, yeah, there we go. You can see it's just sitting in the gaps. Now it's quite dark. This is the under shadow. We won't see much of this left by the time we're done. And um, any, I mean, the brown's on there, so if any bits do get sort of missed, it'll catch them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get my Trax primer and I'm going to get quite a stiff, largish brush. So I'm just going to squirge some of that out and I'm going to use this to sort of, I'm going to say dry brush. I don't want to get the dark, so I don't want too much on my brush and I just want to catch these high points. This is a very stiff brush to get, but leaving the um, dark color 
in the low points. So I need to make sure I do it from the side, not hardly any paint on. And I'm just trying to get rid of some of those so the dark stays in the dark and the light becomes lighter. And this is the main colour I want for the tree. So I don't want too much of the dark left. So I'm just going to carry on just putting it on. So what am I going to do? Well, first of all, I'm going to do these and try and tone them in a bit better. Well, I'm going to use, I think actually the colour I chose was this XF Deck Tan. It's quite a cool Tamiya um, grey beige and I like it. I love this colour actually, I use it a lot. And I'm going to just put it in to my airbrush because I've done this with a, um, a brush now and I, just, I think it needs a bit of airbrush in there just to do a smoother transition. So I'm going to do that. And then I've got out my wood coloured sets from AK Interactive. And I'm going to start spraying just some of those colours, the dark ones, onto here as well in very dilute glazes. Okay, I'm going to use this varnished wood, warm, nice tan colour. Right, I'm going to stop now. I'm going to put it away. I'm going to put it on the floor. I'm going to walk around it. I'm going to come back and check what I think. Well, I've been living with it for a month and it's too brown. It's just too brown. So, a bit of grey. This time I just want to dab it on so I don't lose the definition. I'm going to on the lighter bits with some of the dark staying in. So what I'm going to do is I've got some water. I've got some, well, an empty cup. I've got some grey surface primer from Vallejo. So I'm going to put that in and a little bit of the natural from the craft acrylics, nothing like mixing your types of paint. Um, mostly just because I want it to be a little bit warmer than this grey. And then finally, a couple of drips of polysorbate, 20. Ooh, that was three. And I'm just going to squidge it round. Always pays to mix your paint before you add the water because it's quite hard afterwards. And that looks a much better colour. Ooh, that polysorbate smells very really nice. Then I'm just gonna make this incredibly thin, so half a cup of water in there. Not particularly scientific. And I'm gonna use a sponge to put it on because I really want this to be quite thin. So I don't want too much. I want to build it up in a little layers of patina. A little bit of paper or something, just an envelope, just to make sure that it's not too, I have to make it a bit thicker. I'm just gonna go on and try and catch the surfaces and just build it up so it's a bit grayer. Okay, I don't want it to be too dark, but just a bit to knock it a bit cooler. So there we go. So I'm just going to keep putting it on till it's just that little bit. And I don't want anything too major, just enough to just catch the highlights, take the brown off. It will dry a lot darker. They always do. Okay, so it's half five in the morning. And I've been thinking about this all night, as you do. And there's too stark a difference between my pale grey and the brown that's in the gaps. And much as I like all the colours, I want something that's just a little bit more tree coloured. And this is still just a bit... It's not the tree that I expect it to be colour. So, last thing I'm going to do is one last glaze. So I've got some Vallejo model colour number 91, um, Maron Olivia. USA olive drab and it's a green brown and that's why I'm after. So I've diluted it with a lot of water, a few drops of paint, a lot of water and a bit of polished sorbate 20 and I've put a patch on and as you can see um, it's still wet. It's, it's much better, it's tying everything together. This is sitting in the gaps and on the surface and just bringing the two together. So I'm going to go over it all and we'll see if it looks better and then this is very much the last I promise you. And um, I want it to run down, I'm just going to colour my ground a little, but um, I want it to run down and just to fill all these gaps. It's very much like the first wash we did, which you're probably wondering why we bothered with now. Um, if we'd stuck with the brown, it was fine, but because we've gone on and done other colours, then um, yeah. And this is the thing with modelling. I think sometimes people say to me, oh, you do so many layers, why so many layers? And the answer is, I don't always get it right the first time. Sometimes you do just have to keep going until you get something that you like. 
And, um, you know, if we all got it right the first time, it'd be really boring. So there we go. That's my reason for making you go through another round of colours and paint. But this at least will tie everything in. And don't be afraid to keep going until you're happy, to get up at five in the morning and come down and experiment when you should be in bed. And basically just to make sure that everything works for you. Because once you finish this painting stage, that's it. So this is the final result. I'm a lot happier. I do think it looks a lot better. Um, much happier. It's just all toned down a bit. Nothing too glaring. All, yeah, really pleased with it now. And I do prefer this grey to the brown. So here's the final result. Starting off with the brown coloured trees, which we put the black wash on, and then we had the brown over the top. And these look quite grey actually, and it's partly because I've got very strong video lights on them. And it just, they've, they shine slightly and it just reflects back. They don't look that grey in real life. I've got to say though, they were just a bit too red and a bit too brown and I just wasn't happy. So I redid it and I painted it this colour and it's a lot more grey now and it's up to you whether you prefer the grey or the brown. Um, but I've got to say I do like this colour just that little bit better. One of the saddest bits in any mini Cathy's day is with big Cathy goes to work. So we're left to our own devices. It's traumatic. Right guys, time for me to go to work. Are you okay? You got everything sorted? You get breakfast all right? Brilliant. And lunch is on the side. Yeah, I, I did put it in the fridge, but I took it out because I thought, oh, I'm not sure you can get into that. Okay, I've got my mobile number. If you get into any problems, let me know. Okay. And, um, yeah, we'll have a good day. Don't do anything I wouldn't. Don't let any asteroids destroy the house. All right, see you later. Bye. Right, guys, what are we doing today? Park, garden. And then we get to do what we want. Yay! Party! Not here to oh, see. Let's just go and play with Optimus. He's got these little blasty things in his feet. He can go and blast us around. We go and visit outer space. Oh, what can we do? Right. Oh, you don't want to do Optimus. Well, you decide. I don't mind.